This short video addresses Spurs' claims. Hi, my name's Sam, also known as Avid Beats. I'm walking in Whitewebs Park, Enfield, North London, a much-loved park bought for the people of Enfield in 1931. Since 2021, when the golf course closed, it has been the site of an amazing rewilding process. In October, Enfield Council will decide whether Tottenham Hotspur Football Club gets to build over it for its women's training ground. People say, why does it matter? Surely it's a good thing to support women's football. It's just a few pitches. Spurs say there'll be more heritage work, more access, new cafe. Surely it's a good thing, isn't it? Spurs say they're enhancing access to the park. But the fact is, the public will lose access to 50% of the open space, an area nearly twice the size of Enfield Town Park. And with Spurs' lease, the public lost their legal right to access the park, meaning we will have to trust them to keep the rest of the park open. Spurs say they're enhancing biodiversity, but their construction plans would be devastating to the nature and wildlife the Whitewebs is home to. 80 species of bird, including kingfishers, 29 species of butterfly, 10 species of bat, great crested newts, badgers, munchak deer, and much more. The sloping land would have to be massively reconstructed for pitches, and Spurs plan to use glyphosate, a widely banned toxic chemical. This is what whitewebs would look like. Spurs say they're going to restore 19th century parkland, but they're not doing that. The 19th century parkland was open and spacious like it is now. The plan to plant thousands of trees would destroy the openness and character of this park forever. But it allows them to tick planning boxes needed to build an industrial-sized sports facility. Spurs plan to build a new access road to the Toby Carvery so that they can make the current one private. They call this restoring a historic carriageway although it will cut straight through ancient woods. At the same time, they plan to cut through the main historic carriageway with a massive barrier. Over the years, the council have not maintained the park, such as the bridleways, fencing and loos. So much so that it could seem good that Spurs have come to the rescue. But guess how much this multi-billion pound offshore company are paying for their lease? Two million pounds. Annually? No. Over 25 years. And even then, it's not clear who's going to pay to maintain our park. Shouldn't the council protect the park and Spurs find more appropriate land at a commercial rate or maximise use of their current facility? They have 17 pitches already. What's their track record on promises? When Spurs built their men's training facility, they promised an on-site education centre for Enfield children and a nature reserve. They said every child would be able to visit three times in their school career. Now, 16 years later, I'll be 18 next spring and nothing has been built yet. Apart from, the original site of the nature reserve is now football pitches for the women's teams. The education centre hasn't been built and the nature reserve, now pushed further along the greenbelt, hasn't been started. These promises are much smaller than ones for white webs. Spurs have leased about 37 hectares more than they say they need. Do we trust them not to take over this and use it for themselves in future? Let me take you to my favourite spot where I write all of my lyrics for my music. I went through a mental health crisis in lockdown and sitting under this horse chestnut tree was one of the only things that allowed me to feel at peace. Well, it will be cut down, along with over a hundred others. It will feel like removing a part of me. How much do Tottenham Hotspur and Enfield Council really care about nature and the community? Support our campaign to make White Webs a nature reserve with environmentally based community facilities. Follow our Instagram and keep an eye out for events guardians.whitewebs. Share this video with your friends. Everywhere.